Once upon a time, a lion lived alone in the forest. He was a huge lion with paws like dinner plates and tangled mane that stretched around his head like a halo. He was a creature that liked to be alone. During the day, he would hunt around the forest for his dinner and nap under the cool canopy of the trees. One afternoon, he lay asleep, snoring heavily. A tiny mouse was scuttling along the forest floor, looking for morsels to eat. As she was so tiny, she didn't notice the enormous lion spread out under the trees. Whilst she was looking down at the floor, she ran over the lion's huge paw without even realizing it. The tickle of her tiny feet woke the lion up at once. He rose from the forest floor and roared a huge, booming roar right in the mouse's face. She was terrified, frozen to the spot. She was too afraid to move or run away. The lion placed the hook of his claw down on her tail so she couldn't escape. Looks like I've found myself a tasty afternoon snack, he growled. Please, Mr. Lion, said the little mouse, don't eat me. I'll give you my word that if you let me free, I will repay you some day. She clasped her little hands in front of her and looked up at him with piteous eyes. The lion laughed. Ha, ha, what makes you think you could ever help me with anything, little mouse? I am much bigger and stronger than you. There is nothing you could do to help me. He was so amused by her idea that he decided to let her go. On one condition, little mouse, if I ever see you again, I'll eat you right up. The mouse scampered back to the tree stump where she lived. Many days passed until one morning the lion was stalking around the forest, rolling around in the leaves and washing his face with his paws. Suddenly he felt a sharp pain. A huge thorn from the briars on the forest floor had become lodged in the soft pad of his paw. It had pierced so deeply that he couldn't walk on it any more. Even though he shook and shook his paw, he couldn't get it out. He roared and roared in pain all day and night. The mouse heard his cries from her tree stump, and in the morning she went to see what all the commotion was about. She found the lion lying on the floor, holding his paw in the air, weeping to himself. She smiled as she scampered up to him. With a few pulls of her tiny hands, she dislodged the thorn. The lion grinned back in delight. Oh, little mouse, thank you. You have freed me from such pain, and I surely won't eat you now. Now you see, said the mouse, even the smallest creatures have a purpose. <laughs>